What's going on, my boy? Trending Watford in the building. What's good? What's good? Yo, What's good? Man. How you doing? All these LSU guys, they're going to start calling it Leo Frost State University. Leo Frost State University, man. What's going on, y'all? I'm Leo Frost. I'm the youngest jeweler in the game. I'm your favorite athlete's favorite jeweler. It costs a frost, and you're watching GQ on the Rocks. You know, by the grace of God, I'm so blessed. I got so many guys who are catching touchdowns wearing chains. Uh, I got Trey Lance throwing touchdowns wearing chains. You watch the game, you watch the game with your family, your friends, and someone's like, hey, you know, that guy's wearing jewelry. In the back of your head, you're like, yeah, I know, I made it. Tell him, bro, I'm just at uh, GQ on the rocks. Got this right here. Yeah, heard. Yeah, I know. Yes, sir. So Justin Jefferson called me when he was about to go to the draft, and he was like, "Hey, bro, I need I need a jet piece." So we went through a couple of designs at first. At Frost and Co, we hand draw all our designs. It's a really unique process about going through like maybe five, six, seven designs, and eventually we came to an idea where, why don't we make an infinity Cuban link? We'll put stars going through it. We'll make it two tone, rose and white gold and we'll make the jet white gold, it'll make it really pop. And this is all actually one piece, it's not detachable. It costs 100,000. Justin Jefferson's the kind of guy where he's not gonna buy a lot of jewelry. He wants a nice piece that he can have for a very long time. See how this controller chain is definitely, definitely one of the longest projects I've ever worked on. This piece took about two months to make, over 300 grams of gold, 80 carats of diamonds. This is a heavy hitter. When I met Pat, his nickname was Pat Sertain's the second I saw in his bio, it said PS2. For the draft night, we were like, yo, let's make a PS2 controller. These analog sticks actually move. The buttons are really cool, because this thing lines up. This is what people would call a piece that just has no budget. Uh, this piece overall was 150,000. Aziz Ojolari's piece, he plays for the New York Giants. He wanted a piece that could really reflect who he is, who he would want to be. People don't really do black diamonds. It's not something that people are getting every day. And it's the Black Panther, so you have to do it in black diamonds. Uh, we've got the white diamonds going through the piece, and we added a black Cuban link around it. It comes with a bracelet set right here, too. And this piece actually glows in the dark. If you turn the lights off, this thing will glow. This Jesus piece was made for my man, Tristan Thompson. He hit me up and he was like, hey, Leo, I want a black Jesus. Show me what you can do. I made the rosary links right here. They've got barrel links on the chain, actually. Each one of these spears right here weighs about like 15 grams. This uh, chain itself weighs 200 grams. It's got over 50 carats of diamonds. This piece costs 92,000. We added green links on the sides. He plays with the Celtics. Uh, we thought it would be a cool theme. If he goes to a different team, we'll probably change the color. Tristan lets me work with bigger budgets. He lets me show the world what I can do. Thank you, Tristan. This right here, Jalen Waddle, if you're watching this, you're my dog. Jalen Waddle is from A-Leaf. A-Leaf is a big part of Houston's culture. A-Leaf is where the most NFL guys in the entire country come from. So we put in the middle of this A right here, we put the apple for A-Leaf from where he's from and we spelled out waddle. But the different thing about this is a lot of people, what they do, they'll have the double plate like this, but all the diamonds will be the same size. Jalen Waddle is a little different, so we have to put a little more respect on his name, and we put 10 pointers on all the letters. So he's got big stones going across the letters, and he's got this J up here. So it's Jalen Waddle from A-Leaf. This is called a glass house. And this piece is from Markel Fultz. NBA player. Right here, these are all emerald cuts on the piece. They go all the way around. And then on the sides, we put round diamonds. We've got a very, very clean, sharp look for Markel. He's got his logo, the M and the F. Emerald cuts are harder to set, but if you do them right, you do them with me, it makes sense. When you have an operation this big, you're not setting all the diamonds yourself. You have diamond setters. I've got some of the best diamond setters in the world. If you look at my pieces, you'll never find any bumps. You'll never find any cracks. It's set really tight. And the tighter the setting, the better the piece, the better the quality. You're paying for what you get. Right here, my main man, Jamar Chase. This is a FTF pendant. He likes to have this unique baguette look, so we put baguettes all the way around it. Round diamonds in the middle, highlighted the FTF in the middle. 
Right here, uh, I made a piece for uh, Patrick Queen. This is a level up piece. When he went to the NFL draft, he was like, Leo, my life is all about leveling up. I'm leveling up right now. I need a cool chain. I made this one right here for Andrew Thomas. Uh, it's a grizzly bear. Andrew Thomas is big on that. He feels like he's fierce, so he gets a grizzly bear. This right here is for Javon Kinlaw. He doesn't like having big flashy jewelry. He just likes the cool small stuff. This is a Jesus with uh, emerald cuts on the back of it. Uh, most people have baguettes. Emerald cuts is like the next step, but emerald cuts cost more, bigger budget, better quality. If you got the money, it costs a frost. What a lot of jewelers won't do is they won't show you their work unfinished. It's either because they don't make it themselves or they're just too scared to show you. I don't know if y'all like anime. I'm kind of a nerd sometimes. Now, if you've ever watched Naruto and you know a guy named Kakashi, Kakashi is the sensei and Christian Barmore called me and he was like, yo, I am the sensei, I need the Kakashi piece. I said, all right. There's baguettes going through this right here and then on the whole piece is actually round diamonds. Now, what you're looking at this is a white gold it hasn't been polished, it hasn't even been touched, it hasn't even been soldered, I'm pulling the head off right now. Once all this gets done, it'll be enamel work all the way through, the hair will be enameled, the banana will be enameled, all the way through, even the shoes. So it's really about bringing a piece to life. This will look like the actual cartoon character when it's done, and I'll send you pics. This right here is just a different style of Cuban. This is a Gucci link, but then there's put baguettes all through them. Something like this goes for around 25,000. Very chill, two-tone. This right here is your classic baguette chain. A lot of people are rocking tennis chains. A lot of people like the round diamonds and stuff. Those are cool, but when you have something like this, it's a little different. More people are looking. You can never go wrong with a Miami Cuban. This is the classic favorite chain. These sell like hotcakes because these retain the most value. Jewelry is about buying like cool stuff, but also investing. When you buy a Cuban link and you buy it from me, quality, nice, it's all about investing. It's cool. This right here, is a gold presidential standard gentleman's watch. If you got a meeting going on, you're about to go into a boxing ring and you got media day before, this is the kind of watch you want. Right here, I've got the Cartier Santos. It's a two-tone with the big boy bezel and it's made with an Arabic dial. It's got all sexy stones in it, very clean. I love this watch. It's probably the hottest selling watch of 2020, 2021. I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the show. I've got another Cartier Santos, Arabic dial. This is for my boy, Isaiah Stewart from the Detroit Pistons. He's coming to pick this watch up this weekend. Something like this goes for 23,000. And this right here is your starter kit. Obviously, it's a Rolex Datejust. Everyone in the game, when they get some money, it becomes, you know, let's start off with a Rolex Datejust. And something like this, you start at 24,000. Real chill. There's a strong misconception that athletes don't know how to spend their money. They're just buying all this stupid stuff. When you come from where most of these athletes come from, they don't have a lot growing up. This right here is a, is a trophy. It, it shows you and symbolizes like, look, I've made it, why can I not buy something like this? It's all about being the best version of yourself and being happy, and that's how you ball out, on and off the field. Shout out GQ, appreciate y'all stopping by. Thank you for diving into my world. I feel humbled to be part of this, and um, thank you for highlighting my life.